Indianapolis Colts tight end Mo Ali Cox is set to become a free agent, and there's some talk on whether or not they should resign him or not, and that's what we're going to talk about today. So I'd like to welcome you to the JW Sports Talk Show, where every fan is welcome. And today, talking about Mo Ali Cox, talking about if the Colts should resign him or not, or just let him walk. And if you enjoy Colts content, NFL content, make sure you like, subscribe, and put the post notification bell on so you don't miss any future videos. And let's get right into it. So, Mo Ali Cox, you know he. Never play college ball. Never play college football. Play college basketball for a few years at VCU, and he was and he's just a huge dude. You know, he's a huge dude, and he's not someone that you really want to get in front of. They they don't really want to tackle when he's really going at full speed. So, you know, he really didn't play any football, any organized football since freshman year, and he and the Colts signed him as an undrafted free agent. Comes in. And he has a decent training camp, and he finds a way onto the roster. And he became a nice target for Andrew Luck. He became a big target for this team down the road for all the quarterbacks that have been through here in Indy. So, do we keep him? You know, how has he done since he's been here? Molly Cox could have been let go last year as well, but he wasn't. So, this year, he had 42 targets, 24 receptions. 316 receiving yards and four receiving touchdowns. So, when you look at it, it's not too impressive. And he hasn't really had an impressive year in the NFL. He hasn't had a year in which he had over 400 yards. Four touchdowns is his high. And I'm not going to talk bad at him because, you know, or, or talk trash on him. Because, you know, it's difficult to get to the NFL no matter what. He made the roster. He's been there for a while. But at the end of the day... You know, even though he hasn't played ball for, what, five, you know, maybe like seven years, seven, eight years. It's pretty impressive to go to go and try out for an NFL team and be drafted and not know and be signed as an undrafted rookie not being played for seven years. Uh, that is pretty damn impressive. So huge target. So you'd think he'd be an awesome threat in the receiving game, but he's not really fast. His route running didn't really improve. His run blocking did improve a ton. His run blocking is pretty darn good. His hands are inconsistent. He he he's still raw, but at the same time, I don't think he's gonna get much better. So I think he's almost his ceiling. I know I hate to say it, but I think Molly Cox should be let go. I think they should let him walk. I think they should let him. Go test out free agency, see if anyone else wants to give him a shot. Because this Colts team, especially if Jack Doyle returns, let him walk. Because this Colts team needs another tight end that can really threat opposing defenses down the seam or just from that tight end position. Because, you know, Colts really haven't had that in quite some time, even though they had a few guys, you know, that are solid, but none that are serious re receiving threats, you know. Jack Doyle had a pretty good few years. Jack Doyle was, is a decent threat in the receiving game, but nothing crazy. Um, he is an elite run blocker, elite run blocker. He's a jack of all trades. He's he's pretty good at everything, but he's the best at run blocking. But he does have some of the best hands on the team, some of the best hands, you know, around. So, and then you go to Kylan Granson. Didn't I don't think he was utilized enough, Kylan Granson, but you know, he is more of a of the faster guy that I'm saying that the Colts kind of need. But he's six two. He's not the size of a tight end, so that's a question there. And so, I think you could afford to let Molly Cox go because this team needs to move on. They need to find someone who could be a serious threat, have consistent hands, have consistent games. But to Molly Cox's defense, he really isn't used much. Is he underused, not used right? I don't know. But I say move on. Go sign a guy like David Njoku. Maybe draft a guy later in the draft. Maybe take a guy in. And, um, Connor, there's this Michigan State guy that I really like. I don't remember his full name, but I think his first name is Connor. I, would, I wouldn't mind giving him a shot. You know, not really wanting to draft a tight end at 47 since... We have more important needs such as you know such as defensive end, such as you know you know edge rush, tackle, wide receiver. 
I think those are all more a little more important than tight end. And we have some tight end guys, but tight end is not the problem, but it's not the solution. So that's it for this video. Do you guys think that the Colts should resign Molly Cox or just let him walk? I think they're going to let him walk. I think they're going to let him pass free agency, but I ultimately think that they will resign him. You know, I he's just a Colts guy. You know, he's a good, he's a great run blocker. He's big. And, you know, you know, the Colts need to kind of shy away from that a little bit. You know, they're doing a little bit too much because, you know, Zach Pascal he's inconsistent. There's a lot that goes into it. But the Colts are building this team the right way, though. You know, but they do need to still figure some things out. So, thank you for tuning in to the JW Sports Talk Show where every fan is welcome. Hope you, I hope you've enjoyed. Make sure you like, subscribe, and put the post notification bell on so you don't miss any future videos. I'll catch you guys next time. This is the JDW Sports Talk Show signing off.